good mood. I am waiting your class. Okay. When I see your um, class, I book that. <laughs> okay, that makes me very, very happy. I hope that you will enjoy today's session. I'll get started with my introduction. Hello, this is Priscilla, and welcome to our class using an idiom. I hope that you will enjoy the session as much as I enjoyed putting it together. T today we're going to use this, the uh, idiom uh, curl up and die. We'll talk a little bit about that, see how much you know about this idiom, and hopefully at the end of the class you'll be able to use this phrase very easily. That is my objective for you today. Hello Harry, how are you today? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. How about Great. you? I'm doing awesome. I'm very happy to be here today, and I'm happy I enjoy to see your classes very much. Really. Thank you, thank you. I enjoy thank preparing you. the classes as well. Again, what I hope to do for the students in conversational English is to help you develop a way and use strategies that you can apply to any discipline or any subject content as you're able to speak confidently with uh, class members family and friends. It is my belief that you will need to be able to speak easily first before you can embark upon something a little more challenging that will make sense. So you've got to actually train your brain and your mouth to get the words out clearly and precisely. It is not a doubt in my mind that you you are not familiar with lots of context but the words get out of order when you're trying to speak. So we have to train our mind and our mouth to work together to say what you want to say in the order that it should come out. And the best way to do that is to talk about something that both the listener and the speaker are comfortable talking about. So I pick little short stories, something that's easy to talk about. And once you can talk about something that's easy, you can transcend into something that's a little more challenging. I do want to say that even though this class is intermediate, it is a beginner's class. Even though this class says that it is intermediate, it is an advanced class. The student brings to the class their own capabilities and limitations, and it's from there that we expand on what you are able to do today, tomorrow, and sometime in the future. So again, thank you for joining me today. And Allah, how are you today? Thank you for coming. Hello, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Thank you for joining us. For those of you who has participated in my classes before, the format is still pretty much the same. So for, you know, a couple of more weeks, we will, we will continue to use this format until more students are familiar with what I do, the strategies that I use, and perhaps I will change it up a little bit based upon the feedback that I get. So far, I have nothing but positive verbal feedback that my style, my method, my strategy is working well, but there may be something that you would like to see me do differently, and I would be happy to entertain that if it is within uh, my ability to do so. What I'd like to do now is share my screen and let me know if you can tell me if if and when you can see my screen and I need to go back and actually click the button that says share my screen over here share my screen please let me know when you can see my screen and you should see a lady with hair rollers in her hair yes, Are you able to? fantastic well I hope that you will enjoy the fact that this is from um, a student that is language learning or in, an English language learner and she actually wrote the story. I did a little bit of um, editing of the story but this is in fact a language English language learner story and she was um, charged with the task of writing a scenario of curl up and die. Now this is an idiom can you tell me what does this word mean? To, what does this phrase mean to you, Peter? What um, does have you yeah. ever heard it before? Have you ever uh, heard no, it? No, no. But when I prepared this class, I mm -hmm. uh, realized what is the curl up and die. Uh, okay. 
items is uh, when I uh, when the man or uh, woman uh, have a, uh, um, has a lot of emotion and uh, he shy and mm -hmm. and cure up and die he he want that mm -hmm. so when a person is emotionally tied curl up and die. So, has that ever happened to you, Peter? Has there ever been a situation that did not turn out as you had hoped and emotionally you felt as if you would like to curl up and die? Peter? Yeah, I'm here, but I don't understand it favorably. I can translate okay. it. Well, favorably means good. Something that did not turn out good. Yes. Yes. Okay. It is All my right. thing. Okay. What about you, Ali? Not Ali, but Allah. Has there ever been a situation in your life that did not turn out as you had hoped? <clears throat> uh, I think uh, yes. I don't remember a uh, uh, specific uh, situation, but uh, everyone, of course. Uh, maybe failed at some time or at some uh, task or uh, was in an embarrassing situation mm -hmm. Th that's life yes yeah this is true that is life and this is how we grow what about you Harry what about you have you experienced a situation where you would like to curl up and die uh, I have to invent one uh, to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe when my grandmother would say, "Oh, I would like to, I want, I would like to have a young uh, boyfriend like <laughs> Benji." Okay. <laughs> I would and also curl up and die. <laughs> okay, does she say this in front of your friends? Maybe. Okay, yeah, that would be a little bit embarrassing, like, Grandma, Grandma, no. Okay, all right. Well, I've had some embarrassing situations, too, where I felt as if I would like to curl up and die. I like to wear heels sometimes when I go out. And one day I was out, and I missed the sidestep, the sidewalk, and I fell down, and I scraped my knee, and I was wondering, did anybody see me fall I was so embarrassed that I felt like I could just curl up and die. But, you know, this, of course, is a little bit over-exaggerated because we do not wish to curl up and die, but we would like to perhaps go away for a moment. I'm going to give us a number, and let's see. Peter, you will be number one. Thank you. Uh, Harry, you'll be number two. Okay. And Allah, you will be number three. So there we have it. Let me read the short scenario first. Teacher, teacher can I yeah. ask, please? Absolutely. Uh, is it similar uh, to uh, live something down? To let something down? Mm -hmm. um, give me an example of what that something might uh, be that you let something or someone down. Uh, maybe someone, maybe, okay, uh, he failed uh, or... Uh, Let's say, uh, let's say, uh, divorced. Okay, and uh, he his uh, relationship was uh, not uh, uh, well. It was not was not going well, and he had to live that situation down, or he had to live. Okay, let me see if I'm understanding what your example might be. There is this guy or this girl who. Mm -hmm went through a divorce but they cared so much for this person and they thought that other person cared just as much for them when the decision was made that we will no longer be a married couple one of the parties felt like curling up and dying yes but that's a different type of uh, humiliation and, and embarrassment embarrassment is something that you can get over uh, this mm -hmm. curl up and die is something that is very short-lived. 
when you're going through something such as a divorce, which is very traumatic, it could have a life-changing impact on you. So I think that's a little more severe than mm -hmm. curling up and dying and being embarrassed. Mm -hmm. uh, but you could use it, but I would not use that as my example when I'm speaking to someone. Like, I couldn't believe that my husband no longer wanted me, that now I feel like I want to just curl up and die. I could mm -hmm. say, perhaps, I cannot believe that my husband no longer desires to have me at his, as his wife. I'm devastated and um, you know I need to help I need someone to help me get through this. But curl up, to curl up and die is a little more softer, a little mm -hmm. more general. It's a playful something. It's funny, but mm, you know I slipped, I tripped and I fell. but I'll no. get over it. I'll be fine. Yeah, okay? You. As yeah, you will see as you will see from our reading today. Okay. All right, so here we are, Curl Up and Die by Nizam Riot. To feel very embarrassed about something that you have said or done. Most of the times when I hear the word curl, I think of a woman doing something with her hair. Now, as a university student, student I experienced a different type of curl. That's right, a new type of curl. You might be asking yourself now, what am I talking about? Yesterday, I went to the market to purchase a t-shirt with a multitude of colors. I chose a multicolored t-shirt because I wanted something that would cheer me up and help me stay happy all day long. The following day, I wore another colored top to class to cheer me up and keep me happy all day long. What I was wearing started out as a fabulous success. I was happy and cheerful until I heard someone call, hey buddy, what is that you're wearing? That type of top is for women. To my amazement, the entire class started to laugh. In an instant, I went from cheerful and happy to completely embarrassed. I just wanted to curl up and die. All right. So, are there questions about the vocabulary in this passage before we go on, or do you have questions about anything? And finally, did you understand what I read? The concept of what I read. Questions, anyone? Not yet. Okay. So Peter, Harry, and Allah, there are no questions. I will continue. Peter, you well, are up. We have new students in the class. Oh, I do? Let me check. Thank you. Yeah, Fantastic. Uh, Adela, hello. How are you? Adela, we have started. So you will be number four. And if you would say hello and tell me what your number is so that I know that you will know. Adela, you will be number four. Are you there, Adela? Great. Thank and can you, you say that you are number four, Adela? Yes. Could you please say that you are number four? Yes. Okay. And Ali, you will be number. You will be number five. Can you say hello? And I'm number five. Could you say that you are number five, Ali? Hello, I'm number five. Fantastic. And Kako, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you. Priscilla. Fantastic. It's good to see you. And you, of course, are number six. Okay, thank you. Okay, now I'm going to go back and put the numbers in. That's three and four is... And the law is number five. And number six. All right, we are ready. Peter, would you read, please? Sure. Most of times when I hear the word cure, I think of a woman doing something with her hair. Now, as a university student, I experienced a different type of cure. That's right, a new type of cure. You might be asking yourself now, what am I talking about? 
Yesterday, I went to the market uh, to purchase a t-shirt with a multitude of colors. I chose a multicolor t-shirt because I wanted something that would cheer up me up and help me stay happy all day long. The following days, I wore another, another uh, color top to class to cheer me up and keep me happy all day long. What I was wearing, wearing uh, started out of fabulous success. I was happy and cheerful until I heard something call out. Hey buddy, what is that you are wearing? That type of top is for women. To my amazement, uh, the entire class started to laugh. In an instant, I went from cheerful and happy to completely embraced. embraced. I just wanted to curl up and die. Okay, thank you, Peter. Peter, listen to the way that I pronounce these words. Of course, the word the here, you did not say it at all. You did not say this word at all, but it is the curl, 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 curl. Good. And uh, this word, you did not say this word either. Multitude, multitude, multitude. Multitude. Great. Multitude. And you call this word days. This is day. This is singular. Day. Oh, sorry. Day. Was, 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 was. Was. Fabulous, fabulous. Fabulous. Some, someone. Someone. You call that one something. Oh. Laugh. 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 Good. Embarrassed. Embarrassed. Emb embarrassed. Fantastic. Any Thanks. questions, Peter? Not yet. Thank you. Okay. Harry, it's your turn. Harry? Yeah, I'm here now. Okay. okay. Most of the times when I hear the word curl, I think of a woman doing something with her hair. hair. Now, as a university student, I experienced a different type of curl. That's right, a new type of curl. You might be asking yourself now, what I am what I am, am I am, what am I talking about? <laughs> You're doing fine. You're doing fine. <laughs> Yesterday, I went to the market to the market to purchase a T-shirt with a multitude of colors. I chose a multicolored T-shirt because I wanted something that would cheer me up and help me stay happy all day long. The following day, I wore another color top of a top to class to cheer up and keep me happy all day long. What I was wearing started out a fabulous success. I was happy and cheerful until I heard someone call out, Hey buddy, what is that you are wearing? The type of top is for women. To my amazement, the entire class started to laugh. In an instant, I went from cheerful and happy to completely embarrassed. I just wanted to curl up and die. Okay, very nicely done. Very nicely done. Now, you did correct yourself here. I just want to point it out. It is, what am I talking about? I think what was happening with you is that you were trying to get some grammatics in there and thinking that it should be something else. But no, never bother. You did get it. This one you omitted something, but I'm not sure. But it is cheer me. Cheer, cheer me. me. Good. Cheer me. And I, call, I heard you call this, um, but it's women. I think you say, I don't know what you said, but it, it is women. Women. 
women. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Any questions at this nope. point? Okay, Allah. Okay. Most of the times when I hear the word girl, I think of a woman doing something with her hair. Now, as a university student, I experienced a different type of girl. That's right, a new type of girl. You might be asking yourself now, what am I talking about? Yesterday, I went to the market to purchase a t-shirt uh, with a multitude of colors. I chose a multicolored t-shirt because I wanted something that would cheer me up and help me stay happy all day long. The following day, I wore another color top to class to cheer me up and keep me happy all day, all day long. What I was wearing started out as a fabulous success. I was happy and cheerful until I heard someone call out, Hey buddy, what's that you are wearing? That type of top is for women. To my amazement, the entire class started to laugh. In an instant, in an instant I went from cheerful and happy to completely embarrassed. I just wanted to curl up and die. Okay, there again. This word is women. If it's if it was an A, it would be woman. Woman. If it was an A, but it's not, so it's women. It becomes mm -hmm. we, or more like a we than a woman. Wom woman. It's women. Women. And, women. And this is curl. 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 Mm -hmm. Curl. Great. Do you have questions for me at this time? No, thank you. Adela, you're up. Yes. When I, when I say you're yes. up, that means it is your turn. Adela, number four. Okay. Most, uh, most of the time when I heard the word car, I think uh, of a woman doing something with her hair. Now, as a university student, I experience a different type of car. That's right, a new type of car. You may be, might be uh, the asking yourself now. What am I talking about? Yesterday, I went to the market to purchase a dessert with a multitude of colors. I chose a multi-colored uh, t-shirt because I want something that uh, would cheer me up and help me stay happy all day long. The following day, I wore uh, another color uh, top to class to cheer me up and give me uh, oh, sorry. Uh, happy all day long. Uh, what I was wearing to start uh, out at a fabulous success. I was happy and cheerful until I heard someone call out, "Hey, buddy, what is you are wearing? That type of top is for women." To my amazement, the interplace started uh, to lose. In an instant. I went from cheerful and happy to completely embarrassed. I just want to curl up and die. Wanted, started, <laughs> yes. Okay, very nice. <laughs> now this word wanted, I did not hear you hear, put the ED. It's wanted. Cheer. Oh, okay. Is this cheer? Cheer. Cheer. And I uh, did not hear the ED on started. 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 Entire. Entire. Laugh. 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 Great. Laugh. Laugh. Any questions, Adela? No. Any questions? Thank you. Great. Ali, it is your turn. Yes. Yeah. Um, most of the most uh, most of the times when I hear the word curl, I think the, of woman doing something with her hair. Now, as a university student, I experience a different type of curl. That, that's right, a new type of curl you might be asking yourself now. What I'm, what I'm asking about? Yesterday, I went to the market to purchase a t-shirt with a multitude of colors. I choose a multi-color T-shirt because I wanted something that would cheer me up and help me stay happy all the day long. The following day, I wore another color top to class to cheer me to cheer me up and keep me happy all day long. 
what I was wearing started out as a fabulous success. I was happy and cheerful until I hear someone call out, Hey, buddy, what is that you are wearing? That type of top is for women. To my amazement, the entire, the entire class started to laugh in, my, in an instant. I went from cheerful and happy to a completely embarrassed. I just wanted to curl up and die. Thank you, Ali. This word is talking. I think you said asking, but this word yeah. is talking. Yeah. This is choose. I mean, I chose. You said choose. I chose. 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 And, and again, this word is women. 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 Okay. Questions? No. Ali? No. Kaka, it is your turn. Most of time, when I hear the word curl, I think of a woman doing something with her hair. Now, as a university student, I experience I experienced a different type of curl. That's right, a new type of curl. You might be asking yourself now, what I am talking about. Yesterday, I went to the market to purchase a t-shirt with a multitude of colors. I chose a multicolored t-shirt because I wanted something that would cheer me up and help me stay happy all day long. The following day, I wore another colored top to class to cheer me up and keep me happy all day long. What I was wearing started out as a fabulous success. I was happy and cheerful until I heard someone call, call out, Hey buddy, what is that you are wearing? That type of top is for women. To my amazement, the entire class started to laugh. In an instant, I went from cheerful and happy to completely embarrassed. Just wanted to curl, curl up and die. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, you did not re you did not state this word, but most of the the. And most of the time, good. Most and this, of the times, mm -hmm. okay. And then you transpose, "Am I what I am talking about?" It is, "What am I talking about?" What am I talking about? Okay, this am is some. I? You said this is so me things, so me things. This is something, 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 and fabulous, fabulous, and you omitted the word I here. This is I. Okay? Other, okay. Than, okay. other than that, we are doing All right. fantastic. Alright, what questions can I answer for anyone at this point? What questions can I answer for anyone at this point? Did you understand why he would feel as if he should curl up and die? Yes, to Allah? disappear. Yes, who's speaking? <laughs> uh, to disappear when uh, it's a, a problem, no? Because uh, you are very embarrassed. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's possible to uh, to um, to disappear in this moment, uh, for example, mm -hmm. or or to um, to die in. Uh, yes, okay. I I I. I um, I understand, but I don't uh, explain. Yes, you did. I, yes, you did good. You did fine. You did fine. All right. So we're going to now take a look at the next part of our activity because we all have had a chance to read. 
I want you to, uh, number one will be Peter, number two will be Harry, number three will be Allah, number four is Adela, number five is Ali, and number six is Kaka, Kaka. Now, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to take number seven. Mine's first. These words are all here for everybody. The same words are throughout. And these are the words that were used in our scenario of curling up and die. I'm going to choose three of these words. I'm going to choose multitude. I'm going to choose purchase. I'm going to choose amazement. M M A Z E N P. And now I'll ask you all to give me a word if you can, but you, I'd like for you to do it very quickly. A word that was not in the story. It could be a vocabulary word that you're trying to learn how to use. It could be something that you just heard today and you just want to see how I might use it. Or you can pass. All right, so here we go. Peter, give me a word. I'm going to count to five. If you have not given me a word, then you will pass. One, two, three, four. I don't understand five. the task. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. Harry, give me a word before I get to five. Wet, wet, a wet. Wet. Okay. I've got wet. Good. Hey, no, not wet. Not this one. Oh. I mean, the, I mean the doctor for animals. Oh, vet. Mm. vet. Okay, vet. All right. That was Harry. Allah, give me a word before I get to five. One, two, three. Uh, ambush. Ambush. Adela, give me a word before I get to five. Go. I'm sorry? Goal. Spell it for me. Goal. Goal. Can you spell it? Can you spell the word? G O A L. Goal. And. Was that Ali? Adela? Ali? One, two, three, four, five. Kaka. Ground. G R O U N D ground. Yeah. Okay. So your goal is to look at your picture. Is to look at the picture and then create a little story for us that we can see if it makes sense. It doesn't have to make too much sense, but I want you to use words. So my words are multitude, purchase, amazement, vet, ambush, gold. And ground. Okay, there, here I go. Uh, let's see. Yesterday, a dog approached my Sneaking around to I Okay, I think that's all my words. Okay, now, does that make sense? Maybe, maybe not, but it doesn't matter. The goal is to get me talking and to create something that might be of value. So I think I did that. So I had multitude, purchase, amazement, vet, amazement, vet, goal, 
ground. Mm, I think I got everything. Okay, yay. Go, Priscilla. <laughs> okay, so Peter, what three words would you like to use as your own? Peter, okay. your three words. Purchase, please. I'm sorry? Purchase, please. Purchase, Purchase. okay. Yeah. And uh, cheer, please. Okay. And uh, instant, please. Instant. I'm going to give you ugly. I'm going to give you the word ugly. Okay. And make sure when you give the word uh, that you know the definition in case we have difficulty here. Okay. Uh, Harry, what word would you like to give? Oh, I would. Uh, car, car. Car, as an automobile yep. car? Yes. Okay. All right. Allah, what word would you like to give? One, stipulate. two. Ooh, stipulate. Wonderful. <laughs> S-C-I-P-U-L-A-T-E, -E, and that is A-L-A-A. -A -A. Adele, what word would you like to give? Promote. Wow, I'm glad I didn't get those words. <laughs> okay, this is T U R M O L T M U L T, and this is from. Okay, Ali, what word would you like to give? One, two, three, four, five. Kaka, what word would you like to give? Kaka, one, two, light. three, light. Light. Okay, and light. Um, L I K E. Light, light from the from the sun or light okay. from a okay. bomb. Light. Okay, got it. All right. Um, <clears throat> Peter, we're ready for your story. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I have a big story. Okay. Uh, when the woman purchased uh, the first phone, uh, her uh, her boss said uh, her boss uh, uh, will be cheer. Boss, yes, because uh, this woman is a car seller. And uh, the business is uh, growing up. Oh no, the business growing up, and uh, uh, her boss is very ugly because he don't sell enough car. Mm, one minute uh, for a one minute, and uh, what uh, I don't know what is a term. Tumult. I don't know what is that. T Adela, what does the word tumult mean? Um, uh, a crowd, no? A multitude? No. What is it again? Um, what is? Uh, is uh, a a crowd, no? Um, a lot of. Uh, a lot of people, no? Uh, a, a problem? No. In a strike or... Okay, so I, what, it, what it could be is a, uh, perhaps, uh, let's see, to you, Ari. Social disorder. Yes. Riot. Uh, this is uh, when they are a strike. Uh, uh, okay, uh, people... Could in, the, in the street, no? Uh, oh, I see. A crowd. And any number of things. Okay, you got an idea? Oh. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Okay, we're waiting. Okay, uh, for I one question. I have a question. Well, wait till he finish. Okay, continue. Okay. Continue, continue, Peter. Okay, thank you. And uh, uh, he talked with uh, her. Uh, she talked with uh, her husband, and uh, uh, her husband uh, has a good idea. 
why uh, he asked uh, uh, his my wife why don't you purchase uh, buy uh, uh, the other phone and uh, he bought it and uh, oh, and I, I don't know <laughs> well, <laughs> and, well, uh, I, well, you've got you've got a few, but you've got to go on. I think we got purchase, so you might say something. He bought it with bought it his and, uh, money instantly. Then, then the wife. She. Yes. You. Uh, you. <laughs> okay, so oh. there, there are your words. Okay, so if we get, if we get, if we, if we get to come back again, what this does is help you to think quickly, not thinking about grammar, but just thinking about how can I use these words in a meaningful way. Okay, and I was wondering if you were going to get back to this picture, but when, since you made the phone, since you mentioned the phone, it was good. All right. Oh, Harry, yours is so wonderful. I can't wait to hear yours. <laughs> but first, I have a question. Okay, what's your question? Isn't it not uh, the world tumult without an R inside the world? Tumult. Tumult, not with well, an R. Well, it could be, but again, let's say what the purpose... Don't forget what the purpose of the activity is. The purpose of the activity is to try to speak, even if you're speaking incorrectly. And it's not so, it's not so much that it is uh, Peter's responsibility to know what the meaning of the word means. That should have been Adela's responsibility to make it clear to, to all of us. So please try not to use a word that you do not use. I'm talking about the people who are giving words. Only give a word that you know the meaning of. And if I gave you a very difficult word, I'm going to know what that meaning is precisely. Okay? Okay. All right. So it should be a word that you have heard somewhere. You know the definition, but you just don't know exactly how to use it. So if you know the definition, you can give the definition of that word. Okay. What words are you going to use, Harry? Pushes. Purchase. Purchase. Okay. <laughs> Purchase. And uh, following. Okay. And instant. Okay, and I'm going to give you um, giant. Giant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who? Uh, Peter, can you give us a word? A remote what? controller. There you go. Remote controller. Okay. Uh, Allah. Money. Allah. Allah. Attire. Spell it for me. A. A T T. I R E. Okay. Attire. Okay. And who gave me that? I forget. Was that Allah? Credit card. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Credit card. <laughs> okay. And Kako? Motor. Water or motor? Motor. And Ali? Did I get you, Ali? Okay, everybody gave a word? Okay, Harry, you may start. Okay, this evening we have a uh, great uh, selling show. We need new clothes for video, uh, uh, we need new attires. For the next year. And as you know, you can purchase you can purchase by credit card. And nowadays you can do it with one click over your remote controller.
It's a giant change. <laughs> oh, good. And you can instant order the mo uh, what does it mean motor Mot the let the last I think I, I think I spelled it wrong motor like a car okay, okay. you can instantly order without starting your motor in your car hey nice very nicely done Allah you're up Allah yeah what what three words would you like to use to, what three words university uh, girl embarrassed embarrassed Hey, Peter, what word would you give him? Aunt toilet. Spell it. Aunt? I don't Aunt. know what you... Aunt. Can, you can you spell it? Spell it. A-U-A A-U-N-T Aunt. Oh, aunt. Aunt, aunt. okay. And okay. toilet. No, 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 I'm uh, toilet. This is uh, uh, the person who cares for the toilet in the shop. Well, spell it. Can you spell mm -hmm. it? O I L E T. Okay, okay. Your, your oh, toilet. Toilet. Aunt is okay. Aunt? Okay, we're going to go on because I can't get it. Okay, toilet. That's good. Okay. Uh, teacher. Yes. Teacher. He puts. He puts on the on the on the where, where we have we verbling we, chat I, box. But see, I can't go back if I can't go back and forth. I'm I, I'm just a little slow at that. Okay, teacher. What's next? Adela, give me a word. A mirror. Okay. Ali, give me a word. One, two, three, four, five. Kako, give me a word. Lump. Lamp. L A M P? Yeah. Okay. And I got the word now. I went back to take a quick look. But that's that's Difficult one because I can't even hear. Okay, Allah, you're up. You ready? Let's hear your story. Look uh, at the okay. picture. This, this is your <laughs> this is your picture. <laughs> okay, go. Okay, uh, but I can't answer the, uh, understand the aunt to toilet. I aunt guess toilet. the I guess the aunt is sitting on the toilet. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> go on, go on, okay. go on, go on, Ali. Yeah. Okay. Today, when I was uh, at the university uh, and during my class, uh, I asked the teacher to go out for the toilet. Uh, he refused and uh, ordered me to sit down. I was I was very embarrassed uh, among my friends. Uh, I just want to go to. Uh, I just. Uh, I just can't. Uh, I just. I can't look to myself at mirror. I just want to curl up and die. On the on the toilet though. <laughs> 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 I, well, I'm not sure what that was. Okay, F R I E N F R I E N D S. I guess it's not that important, but here we go. Okay, Adela, what three words would you like to choose on your own? University, experience, and instant. Okay, university, and what? Experience? And instant. And instant. 
I'm going to give you love. Peter, one real. word. Real, R-E-A-L. Wheels. Wheel. 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 Like car wheel? Yes, of course. Okay. Um, Harry? Uh, one second, I have to... One, one second. two, Gymnase, three. Gymnase Weeper. Gymnase Weeper. <laughs> okay. Allah? Uh, indiscretion. One. Oh, wow. Uh, Ali? One, two, three. Four, five. Kako? Rocket. Wow. Okay. Adela, you're up. Please re give us your story. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to the I'm going to the university. It will be uh, my first uh, experience uh, so far my love. Ah. In an instant, uh, my uh, 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 okay. In an instant, your computer is. I'm not getting it. In an instant, my what? Uh, uh, my in an instant, my childhood. Oh, my life uh, um, is uh, in a well. Okay, continue. I don't know what you get. It uh, is in a well. Um, and um, um, uh, sorry, uh, I uh, well, uh, okay, and. Um, uh, as uh, as a <laughs> driven in a car, uh, <laughs> uh, in a in a rocket, uh, I went uh, to a rocket, and I see um. My uh, sorry, a Chinese sweeper. A Chinese is a Chinese, but what is a, a sweeper? Okay, continue if you don't know. Um, um, I don't know what a Chinese sweeper. Okay, all right, yes. we'll stop there. Okay. okay, you did okay. All right, Ollie. And I'm I'm actually looking at the clock, and I want everybody to get an opportunity. So we've got Ali and Kako to go. Okay, yeah. no problem, no problem, no problem. I always prepare more than enough activities. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, okay, Ali, what three words would you like to choose? And I don't Ali know has, that has left. Uh, his okay, left. Ali is not here. Okay, Kako, yes. What three words would you like to choose? Kako, choose your three words. Experienced, cheer, girl, girl. Okay, I'm going to give you the word human. Peter, what word would you give? Stress. Harry, what word would you give? Calf mixture. Calf mixture? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Allah, what word would you give? One. Mocking. Mocking. Adela, what word would you give? Mocking. Scarf. Calf? Scarf. 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 Okay. Ali and... Okay. Kako, you're up for your story now. <laughs> What's your story? When human beings... Are, uh, are, ex are, ex uh, are experienced a, a situation of stress like when he uh, when they are 
smoking the consequences can be tough and uh, instead of reaching a state of cheer they they can rather leave a situation of curl up and dying <laughs> when, <laughs> of curl up and die mm -hmm. when they think they they can only only wear a scarf around their neck to go out to a restaurant to uh, looking looking for a dish of calf mixture <laughs> Okay, looking for. Okay. They Damn, smoke. Uh, uh, oh. Good. But they smoke. Okay, you're good. All right. Uh, the last thing that we were going to do was uh, let's very quickly just pick uh, two people. Well, I need a clerk and I need a customer. Okay, who wants to be the clerk? Quickly. Okay. Quick, okay, that's one okay. And who's going to be the customer? Just read what you see. Start reading now. Can I help you? Can I help you? I need a customer to respond. Just two people are talking right now. I'm Quickly. just talking uh, right now. Thank you. Everything in this department is on sale today. If I can be uh, of any help, just let me know. Can I try this sweater on, please? Certainly. The dressing room, the dressing rooms are over there. How was, How was it? it? How was okay. it? It's a little big to be, a uh, bit uh, too big. Do you have a smaller size? Did you check the rack? Yes, but there wa uh, weren't any. I'll have a look in the back. I'll be back in a minute. Yes, we have one. Great, I take it. How would you like to pay for that? Do you take debit cards? Yes, of course. But if you would like to open an account with us today, you'll receive a 10% uh, of your first purchase. Okay, that uh, sounds good. Just fill out this form and I'll give you a temporary card today. You, uh, your actual uh, card your actual card will be uh, mailed in about two weeks with the sale and the extra 10% discount. Your purchase comes to $49.99, uh, including tax. What a branding. Thank you. Okay, that's a bargain. Great. Okay, now, the yeah. two more people read the same thing, but you will have to make up your conversation. All right, who can start with a clerk and a customer? Please start now. I be the clerk. Okay, good. You look, you look very colorful today in your top. How may I help you today? Thank you, uh, but today I'm sad uh, because uh, I have a problem with my family. We have many different things in our store for boys and girls. If I can help you, just call me. Uh, thanks, I will. Um, do you have... Uh, uh, any sweater? Excuse me, what do I? Uh, do you have another color uh, for this uh, uh, sweater or top? Certainly. We have only the color, uh, the color silver uh, <laughs> over there. Okay, customer. Um. Uh. No, it's Clark another, no? Oh. Well, that's okay. Just go to ah. customer. Uh, can I um, can I go to the changing room to to try uh, it? 
to... Clerk? We, we have only a bathroom. <laughs> ah, only a bathroom? We don't have uh, any changing room? Okay. No. Yes, but uh, there weren't any. Sorry, they they renovate. Uh, they the bathroom is closed. <laughs> okay, all right, good, good job, guys. And then the last activity was to determine what belongs and what does not. <laughs> but we don't have time to do this. But I'll run it up so that if you watch the tutorial, you would be able to pick and choose what goes and what does not. So. But thanks, everybody, for participating today. This was another fun activity for me. And as I say, when I put these together, I enjoy doing them. I enjoy seeing you grow. I hope that you are able to watch how quickly you're able to pick vocabulary words and make a meaningful sentence as you're practicing your conversational English. All right. So let's see. If you don't have any questions for me at this moment, I'm going to say I'm getting back to the screen to say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye. Thank you for seeing okay. us. All right, I'm not all right, I can't get back to I can't get back to the screen, but everyone knows that I'm here. Thank you so much for coming and I will have classes again on tomorrow. Just look at the more key to find out what uh, classes I'm having and I will be happy to interact with each of you. All right. Have a nice day and thanks for coming. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Nice Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Carol I'm waiting for it to stop broadcasting. And it seems that I'm having a little difficulty with that.